Are you guys gonna be here? Yeah. New York City has always taken pride in its culture, so it's only fitting that at this trendy new spot, the cultures are live and active. It is a yogurt shop after all. The goal of, of this cafe um, was really to show the possibilities of yogurt. You heard him. Fermented milk is now center stage in one of Manhattan's chicest neighborhoods. John you know, Heath heads innovation so at Chobani. What's the best seller here? Well, you'd be surprised at the uh, pistachio with chocolate and orange. Why am I not surprised? The one, the, yeah, <laughs> I mean, people absolutely love that one. It's the brand new face of an age-old product. Thousands of years ago, nomads are thought to have first discovered yogurt. I just love Today, this for, uh, Chobani's chefs um, say they're discovering it all over again. So here we have some, uh, some cucumber, some olive oil, uh, a little bit of salt, mm. uh, and, uh, and just, just pure, simple yogurt. At the heart of every recipe is Chobani's Greek yogurt, strained to remove the whey and water. It's thicker, it's creamy, it adds a great texture. And from richness comes riches. Chobani is now the fastest growing yogurt brand in America. And Greek yogurt, once a small fraction of the market, will top $1 billion in U.S. sales this year. It's very high in protein, it has less sugar, and companies have made it absolutely delicious. Cornell dairy specialist Tristan Zuber says they're eating it up in New York State, now home to all the major Greek brands. And for local dairy farmers, you might just call it a cash cow. There's currently 553 million pounds of yogurt that's manufactured in New York. That's a 140% increase since 2008. So then we pump it through here. And the and next generation of New York yogurt off. makers is uh, already the on the rise. And we can see here, if we lift the lid up, oh, that wow. the yogurt is coming out. Siggy Hilmerson came here from Iceland. He started making Siggy's yogurt in his small Manhattan apartment. My early tests were, were a hit and miss at best. Very soon, the plot thickened. Whole Foods gave us a call. And that's a good call to get. That's a good call to get. Today, Siggy says he ships to around 2,000 stores nationwide, selling about 100,000 cups a week. When you talk about yogurt, your eyes light up and your whole face smiles. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's fun. Start with putting some blueberries. Back in Manhattan, the folks at Chobani are having fun, too. We go with a little bit of hemp. In fact, they plan to milk it for all it's worth. The big question is, is how high is up? There's only so many feet of space in, in the yogurt aisle, right, or in the dairy aisle. So we probably will need another aisle. 